This is the DJI camera, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over why I use this camera for all of my real estate digital video marketing. As a real estate agent, I wanted to do walkthrough videos tours of my listings I got and do kind of a voiceover talking through the property as I'm walking through the house. And what I started to do was I would take these cameras like a, a Canon or I would take my phone out and uh, start videoing everything. Um, I liked my camera I was using, my Canon. I did some really good shots. So what I ended up doing was buying the Canon. I paid around $650 if I remember correctly. And then a week later, I purchased the DJI Pocket 2 and uh, I shot a video with both of them. Now, of course, um, I didn't have a very good gimbal for my Canon. I had a really cheap one. And so I didn't really like how the video ended up turning out with the Canon. Also, I'm not a professional with the Canon. There's a lot of buttons there. That I don't know what they do. And I just wanted something I could just start using like this DJI Pocket 2. Uh, once you turn it on, it's pretty much uh, very simple to start using. And it makes a very good quality image when you're done. Right now on Amazon, you can purchase this property for $4.99 uh, with this kit. And I would recommend getting this kit uh, because it comes with the wide angle lens, it comes with the mic, and it comes with everything you need. And if you were to buy the camera and then buy the lens and buy these items individually, uh, your cost would be much, much higher than buying it as a kit altogether. So I would always suggest to buy the combo kit on Amazon. I leave a link down below. All right, so right now I'm just gonna go over some of the very simple uh, features of this camera. Now I'm not a camera expert and I've kind of did, uh, been doing the very simple things on this camera, uh, but it is a super simple to use camera and that's what I really like about it. So simply pressing and holding this button on the side will turn it on and it will be facing towards you. If you want to turn it off, you just hold the button there and it will turn off and uh, reposition itself just like that so you can put it in the case. If you want to turn it on and the camera be facing away from you and you can look at the screen, you just press and hold this button right here and it will be facing away from you um, at that point. If you want to switch to right now, um, as you can see at the bottom here, it says I'm in video and at 4K setting, uh, with about 60% charge. And uh, here's my storage here. And this little camera here is telling me that when I move this nozzle, it's gonna make it go down or up. Now, personally, I don't really use this setting too much. So I always um, switch it to, I double click this button right here. And that switches it to a zoom in, zoom out function. When I double click on this button right here, it will recenter the camera um, so that the gimbal is recentered and I can move it back to a zoom in, zoom out function. To switch it to a uh, camera, I simply just press this button right here and it will switch to a photo and I just click it again to switch it back to video for a quick switch back and forth. If you wanna do something more specific, you slide this and you have the options that you can do uh, right here, story, uh, a panoram, a video, slow-mo, time-lapse, those type of things. Um, but really the simple uh, to do is a, a uh, switch it to a photo or a video there. Um, when you're on video, you just press once on the red button here and it will uh, beep and start recording. Uh, to stop recording, you just click the red button again and it will beep twice. So uh, if, you, if you hear it beep <laughs> twice when you're turning it, you think you're turning it on, um, then you will want to restart that. By clicking this button here, uh, you're gonna be switching the different type of gimbal settings here. The FBV, I believe it's called, is the normal setting it's on. It's a, it's a very cinematic um, camera setting where if it's looking over here, it speeds up and then slows down at the end to have this very cinematic gimbal uh, 
feel to it. For that. Click it again and it will do a tilt, uh, tilt lock. So basically the camera will only be facing at one tilt. We'll be always looking at whatever you set it to there. So um, that, that's kind of the breakdown of the simple settings. Uh, if you want to change something like a, um, you want to do a different setting, uh, you simply swipe down and go to settings here. Um, and you can mess with some of the settings here. If you want more of a pro version where you can change things like uh, maybe aperture or uh, camera quality, those type of things, get more in depth with it, you just simply click the pro button. Um, I'm not a pro, so I don't mess around with these settings too much, um, but you can go more in depth when it comes to um, some of the uh, things in here. So that's the scroll down feature here. Now, if the camera's facing away from you or facing towards you, just click this button three times, one, two, three, and it will flip around, one, two, three, and it will flip back around. So that's just kind of a simple breakdown of this camera for you. Um, but let's go over some of the other additional items you have in this kit. It comes with two more connectors to connect to your phone or whatever device you want to connect it to. Um, this is the, the holder it comes with. This keeps it very safe in here and uh, is very pocket friendly. You can kind of, uh, it keeps it pretty safe and I always put it in there when I'm done using it. Um, inside the camera holder itself, it will fit all of your little devices in there. Um, and it holds everything inside this little case here. So it's pretty simple to use. In here also, it comes with this wide angle lens and uh, really makes uh, whatever you're filming look very big, uh, very much so bigger. Um, here's just an example of the wide angle lens with it on, with it off, with it on, with it off. It does a difference, and especially if you're doing like a, a real estate, you know, property walkthrough, it really adds a lot of depth into the house. And it just snaps together in there, just like that. Also, it comes with a couple more bottoms here for the bottom of the device. Um, it comes with one where you could uh, do an attachment of some sort. Where you just click it on and you can attach maybe you can attach something to it that comes with different bottoms just like that. Also, it comes with this, which is my favorite and the one that I just leave on there all the time. This one, you simply connect to the bottom here and it has a plug-in mount here. And now this whole area um, acts as a speaker. So for the back, this is the speaker here. Um, so when you're talking into the camera, you wanna be talking into this. And then for the front, this is the uh, speaker for the front. So you can do kind of a vlog style video if you'd like. Also it comes with that bottom piece. In the kit here, um, it will come with this little thing here. This one comes with a three axis stand um, where you can attach it. The, the kit itself comes with this three axis stand. Uh, you can just screw it in the bottom there. And when you're done with it, uh, you simply wrap it up and uh, attach it back to your case here. And it's just slick, smooth, and out of your way. Another thing this kit comes with is a, a little mic turn on button. And this button will actually turn on the video and start rec recording. Uh, simply turn it on and it will automatically connect. And then you click this button and it will actually take the photo for you. Or if you're in video, it will start recording. So I could be sitting over there, have my camera all set up 
and simply click the button to start recording. And once you turn it off, it will automatically um, disconnect and you can start using the camera separate from the mic from that point. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel.